Shaper 3D is a wonderful bit of uh, 3D modeling software which gives you the ability with your tablet and an Apple Pencil to create things like this. Let me show you this bad boy. This is Shaper 3D. Bum, bum, bum. Shaper 3D and I've been finding it's really really quite cool. I recently got myself an iPad Pro. Now I've dimmed the lights a little bit so you can see what I'm up to and uh, I've got an Apple Pencil here. This is sort of cool. You can double tap it and it changes function from pencil to eraser. Anyway, key thing. Right, let's get into this here. I have designed with it a, as you can see here, a hinge that is made out of cylinders. If I take one of these bad boys and delete it, you can see there that this is quite literally cylinders inside cylinders connected to the rest of the product. So I've made a little wallet here and effectively the lid closes over on top of there. Uh, and this is really easy to do. Um, a very friendly user interface. You do need this pencil in order to use this software. Um, but ultimately, you can create your own 3D printed parts. You can design and develop whatever comes into your head. So uh, something else that I was working on the other day was uh, a little microphone stand. And look how responsive this is and how quick this is. And you know, you can get underneath it and have a look and see what I did underneath. Um, you know, it's just fantastic. So uh, why don't we go ahead and start getting rid of uh, some of this stuff. Effectively, what you've got here then is you've got your coordinate system, your X, Y, Z, and up in the top right-hand corner, you can see X, Y, Z, and it shows you front, top, and all the rest of it. And basically, what you can do is you can create something by quite literally just drawing a rectangle. I'm gonna use the center point here of the coordinate system, two fingers to move things around. I'm going to use the center point of my coordinate system as the um, the datum, if you like, for, for the part that I'm creating. So there it is. And then what you can do, just select that little sketch and you can extrude it. And there it is, it's extruded upwards. We have created a box and you can look all around that box. So the next thing that I want to do here, so let's do, uh, let's uh, uh, create a little cycle. Circle, please, thank you. There we go, little circle. And uh, then again, what we can do is we can select that circle. And boom, there it is. And we can extrude that circle up through the box. Now we have a box with a circle in it. But you can see how easy this is. I mean, I know it's sort of basic geometric parts, but actually one thing that you can do, I, I designed some gears on here, which are quite interesting. But one thing you can do is you can quite literally sketch by putting different pressures on the pen. Oops, there we go. Uh, some, some kind of weird and wonderful sine wave. I'm not sure what it is I'm sketching up here, but it's an M. And then again, you can take that M, you can select it and extrude it upwards or downwards, subtract it from a solid or add it to a solid. This is really quite powerful and quite useful software. And it's really quick and easy to use with the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. Now, um, the software in this format comes free. It does have some limitations to what you can do. Um, so you can only work on two pieces at any one time. Um, when you go to export this, if I try and export it, uh, you can only export it as a low resolution here. Yeah, otherwise, if you want to export it as a high resolution, uh, you need to buy the pro package. Um, uh, but you can import images, um, you can import 3D models in STEP, IGES, STL, uh, many other different types of formats. I really do think this is very, very cool indeed. 
Um, and there's so many more options, you know, you can transform things, you can scale things, rotate them, translate them, uh, rotate around a specific axis, copy them. Copy's really easy, you just go ahead and double tap to select your item. Bang, look at that, we've copied it. Um, and we've copied it down here and then we've copied it across there. So, uh, you know, it's just, I do I absolutely adore this bit of software. If you have an idea, you can throw it down really quickly and easily. And again, some of the other things, um, so as you delve in, you can see the grid pattern changing here. So if we just go for a basic line, let's just measure this bit here. But there we go, 10 mil. So you can see that there, my little line that I drew in there is 10 mil long. Um, so anyway, I'm really quite impressed with this bit of software. I'd love a full copy of it so that I had more options to work on. Just saying, you know, if the Shaper 3D guys are out there and they're watching this, I'd love a full copy of this so I could do a bit more of a review on its functionality. But as it is, this is quite useful. Now, I did find that when I printed my microphone stand, that rather than having a beautiful circle, because the resolution of the output was a little bit high, you had um, you had a little bit of squaring off going on on the corners of the circle and things like that. So, um, so the prints don't come out absolutely perfect in low resolution mode. They do come out quite well, uh, more than good enough, I would say. But if you say, for instance, had a piston that you wanted to fit into a cylinder, <laughs> that looks really wrong. But if you had a piston that you wanted to fit into a cylinder, um, there's a high risk that if one of those pistons or cylinders had rotated and you printed them in low resolution, they wouldn't fit. So uh, there are some limitations, as I say, to the free version of this software. And I think the full version of the software is about 200 quid for the license. Uh, I think that's a one-off payment. I don't think you have to pay every year, um, but ultimately I'm really quite impressed with it. So uh, let's uh, just have a look at that bad boy again. I am really happy with this mad design that I came up with here. And I love the fact that I can just get in there and look around and just, uh, select a piece, get rid of it, find out what I've done. No, I'm happy with that. Put it back in, yeah. It is so easy to use and really, actually really good fun to create uh, on a tablet like this. So here they are, gears. So, uh, <laughs> as you know, I designed them myself, so they're not very good. Um, but printed all of these in place on the 3D printer. So uh, there you go, pop that gear in there and that gear will happily turn the big gear. Look at that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot of backlash. Huge amounts of backlash in that position. And also, if you use the big gear <laughs> to try and turn the small gear, yeah, I didn't get my... Uh, didn't get my dimensions right. I think I could have got away with one more uh, tooth on this smaller cog here. Anyway, there we go. Not bad for a first attempt. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to test this little microphone that I 3D printed. I think it might be okay. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Little windshield on it. 3D printed. So um, yeah, the, the, the uh, halfway through this project and uh, the fence blew down. So I had to go out there and stop panels from sort of flying across the garden and smashing into the vehicle, smashing into my van, my baby, the, you know, and the wife's gone, <laughs> gone out with her friends this evening. Uh, so after having basically um, chainsawed the, the, the rest of the panels down, that were wobbling on the fence. Um, I thought, well, it's time for a whiskey. So, uh, cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.